It hasn't rained here in like three weeks. And it finally rained. It's actually cold right now. So we figured now is the perfect time to light this fire up. As you guys saw in the last 3D Machines production, we took Heavy D here, Big D, hooked it up to the old lanai to the house, and drug it to the backyard. Is it drug, is it drag? I don't know, I'm not an English professional. If you could link, leave that in the comment section below, I would really appreciate it. Education is your friend, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So no, Big D is not done being a bulldozer just yet. We got some work in store for him. It's one thing to fix, it's another to rebuild. Rebuilding is always worse than fixing, and building is always easier than the two, usually. So right now, we've cut this line. Now we're gonna go ahead and frame it back in. We're gonna make the ceiling slightly higher, and we're gonna continue the same pattern that this thing has going on. And it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna look nice in the back of our garage. So I'm starting out with this eight foot piece. Gonna line that up to here. So let's start framing. We moved our current supports in so we can put our new framing in position and the water from last night is falling. So it's, it's cool after putting a pitch on it, we're actually gonna have some drainage. Like I said, it hasn't rained in three weeks so that sound is unfamiliar to us. You know, if it's such a hard time doing this, what they do for like building the pyramids? That's a question. Comment section. Straight on, it'll move. Moves pretty it keeps, good. Yeah, it keeps coming off because there's an angle. This definitely is a tedious task. It's like itching your back, you know? Some places it's easy, some places it's hard. 
here it's slippery when wet, but we're not really dealing with a lot of water here. Sand, sand is a lot less, there's, there's no traction in sand. I'm new to this, I'm from New York, I'm, I'm not used to it. I thought a 7,000 pound truck would have an easy time moving this lanai. It's proven not to be. Cole, just make sure I don't hit the roof here or the tree. We're getting pretty close to the tree. Got it. Oh. Almost there. It's starting to hit here though. Should we slip that off? Yeah, we should cut that off. We got a guy going for a joyride. That's for sure. Well, you're not really watching the roof too good because well, We're on it right there. Now can use that the line we're pushing this side in too much. kind of crazy that we're using a truck to remodel the back of my garage. This is freaking harder to move than I thought. Please, you guys, hit that like button. A lot of hands make light work. Duramax is kind of having some issues here. We've already gone ahead and put a skid under this whole portion of the joist, so that way it would ride across that. We were hitting a roof, so we did that on that side. Oh, well, we got it almost there, so now I think if we put a skid on this side, we can just uh, keep moving the truck and keep pushing it back. Hopefully, I don't know. This is our skid. We put it under the joist. As you can see, the joist is cracked right there. Put it under that joist and the second joist. And we also cut a, a lip into it so the third joist can hopefully ride up it if it needs to. We should probably start pushing more towards the center of this side now, otherwise, we might start breaking it. And instead of pushing more uniform. The reason why we're bringing the lanai to the back of the garage is because we need extra storage, okay? It's in the way of the current house build. The, the current house is just gonna come down. I don't know if I told you guys that, but I, the plan is to demolish it. I wanted to keep it, you know, between myself, my brother, and, you know, my immediate family because um, if I tell it to you guys, then it's like, hey, I gotta promise this. You know, I, I said it, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and, and do that plan. But the thing is, is it's not really in my control yet. It's, it's in the county's possession. So by getting this back here, uh, it'll give us a room for when the house does have the green flag. I'm really looking forward to that green flag. Oh, well, we did it. It's against in position. All, yeah, against all odds. We, we did it. We moved it into position. Yeah, yeah. The, the truck actually uh, finally got to a point where it was held up by a root. The whole, the whole truck, this thing, I can't believe it didn't like break the joist. Yeah. It just stopped it right in its tracks. So we had to jack it up, put those sliders in there. Then after we did that, it slid right into place. And then we had to notch out a little section because there's a, a tree stump below us, directly below us. So we just notched them out of the joist. And now it's sitting relatively level. It's gonna work perfect to hide some of our stuff, keep some of it out of the weather and deter a little bit of sunshine. The screens do a relatively good job at that. It's kind of like sunscreen on uh, some of the stuff we have. So that'll work for there. What? Puns? <laughs> we're excited to use it, yeah. and we're, we're glad that we're gonna have some sort of use for it and not just tear it down and, and just utilize the two by sixes. This will definitely be more useful than two by sixes at the moment. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, 3D Machines. My name's Cole. And call out. <laughs> we'll see you later.